Dearest you know you ever are the nearest to my fond heart joking apart, I swear, by all the silly stars above you, darling, I love you, I really don't know what more I can say but, lest you may consider this epistle too brief, and nurse some silly, some absurd belief that I'm neglectful. Why, I'll try to fill a sheet or two to comfort you what can I say? Oh, by the way I noticed, somewhere, in the paper lately that someone named, er, was it Mr. Blakely? No, Blakely, I think. Another dip of ink. This Mr. Blakely says the Labour Party will gladly give support, both full and hearty, to any man who sent this person, used to, well, you know the term that I would use? Darling, I must fill out a sheet or two. I know that you are not much interested in politics, you are so full of such distracting tricks and I remember that last time you noted you said you simply doted upon one candidate's absurd mustache dear, you were rash. Now, let me see, twas Brown, no? Smithson was it? I recollect the fool lost his deposit but, anyhow, I want to warn you now against a repetition of such acts let us get down to facts can you believe can you, my precious Pippin, ere conceive that I, despite my faults and obvious failings, could, no, that's no good. But can you realize that a crowd of sane, honest, intelligent, right-thinking, earnest, idealistic politicians can evolve a really patriotic plan that's getting scientific? but I am most remarkably prolific can they evolve a plan predicating that any ordinary and, say, unspecified man your pardon. I do not refer to Mr. Watt but do you think they can with decency declare that any man may get then into office, if he can indubitably, no. The more I go however, inter alia, think you such men give heed to our Australia think you those burning questions waiting on the threshold yearning to be discussed have got them fussed no, sweetest, no it's just the game you know. Think you they're patriotic, or just. Well, say neurotic think you they take the view that these shrewd moves advance, say, me and you my dear, they don't end, while the party system lasts, they won't those vital questions, those statesmanlike suggestions regarding, well, why, emigration, say in some reduction in a member's pay, that linger on the doormat, palpitating, will go on waiting, while puerile politicians play the game. Ain't it a shame? My cabbage. I'd forgotten you always thought that politics were rotten. Pardon this letter next time I shall endeavor to do better if you are bored, old thug. It truly grieves me I hope this missive finds you as it leaves me so, dear, I'll meet you on the block at six in spite all politics, we'll carry on.